it's Jeannie, the Spotted Chick. Welcome to the Hen House. Today I thought I'd do a little video tutorial on sewing. I'd like to show you how I sew around my images and I get a few questions on this occasionally so I thought you might like to see how it's done. First of all we're going to go over the supplies you need and of course um, the, the main supply of course is the uh, sewing machine and I have a full-size singer um, so but I suppose it's one of the many sewing machines would work as well. Um, also, the next thing would be um, the needle. There's nothing uh, really particular that I do with this needle or what kind of needle it is. I think it's just a general all-purpose needle. Um, nothing fancy about that. But one thing that I really do like a lot is um, the thread. Um, I like the Gutterman thread and I like the 100% polyester. Typically I use this cream color when I'm doing most of my cards and this color happens to be color 22. Um, and this is like my favorite, which you see on most of my cards. But today I'm going to be using black. I thought it might show up a little bit better on the video. So um, anyway, that's, we'll be using black today. Um, and the image I'm using today is Stella from Bugaboo. Isn't she cute? So, um, okay, so let's get started. Um, I always start on the bottom right corner for no particular reason. That's just the corner I like to start with. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to place the image and what I'm going to try to do and what I always try to do is stay about a sixteenth of an inch in from the top edge of the top cardstock. So what I'm going to be trying to do is stay a sixteenth inch inwards of this top piece. Uh, don't worry about these other pieces, just the top piece is the one we're looking at. So um, it really there's no, there's no guide I'm using other than just eyeballing it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to lift the foot and we're going to put our beginning hole at least sixteenth of an inch from the back side and a sixteenth of an inch from my right side. So we're actually going to start right here and put the first hole down and we're going to go from here. Now I'm going to actually go all the way to this end. When I get to this end I'm going to slow down and you'll see why. So we're going to start Again, just trying to stay eyeballing it, staying about a sixteenth of an inch in. When I get to the end, I'm going to manually make the needle go up and down until I get to the point where I think I might be a sixteenth of an inch from this side. Leaving the needle down, lift the foot, spin it, and then start again. But if I start now, I think I'm actually too far in. I, I don't like that side, so I'm going to go back, spin it back around, and I'm going to lift the needle and rather than making an entire stitch which I think would be too close to the edge I'm going to lift the foot and move the cardstock back so it's not an entire full stitch kind of like a half stitch now I'm going to spin it and we're going to go around so that's how you kind of cheat to make it stay the 16th of an inch like you're looking for again doing the exact same thing down the long side Again, when we get towards the end, I manually lift the needle up and down. This one looks like it's going to actually end up pretty close. Yes, I like that, so we'll leave it in. And we'll go down this side. Again, getting slower. And this one looks pretty good too. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, down the last edge. And slowing down and where I want to end up is I want to end up in the exact same hole I began in and if it doesn't work out, which it's not, I'm going to lift the foot, move the cardstock so that I get that needle to go right in the beginning hole and finish that last stitch, lift the foot, and now we're going to cut off the thread. Now we're going to cut it so that we leave at least about an inch and a half, all right? And then what I do is I cut the two tails on top, but not the bottom, all right? So now we get rid of that. And what I'm going to do with these two tails on the bottom is we're going to take a piece of scotch tape, and the piece of scotch tape is going to go right over those two tails, and it's going to go over my beginning 
and my ending stitching, which prevents it from unraveling or while you're handling it so the stitching stays in place and it doesn't come undone on you. So there you have her. She's all stitched. Now you're going to do the exact same technique with your the rest of the card, whether it be the designer paper onto the cardstock um, and or so forth. That would work the exact same way. We'll follow the exact same technique. Now another thing to let you know is when you want to adhere this to your card, um, probably for the image piece I'm going to actually use pop dots and I use Stampin' Up! Dimensionals for that. But when I'm actually going to be adhering the actual um, the card piece, which I've already sewed again the same way, when I actually adhere this to the card, I think some of you may think I actually stitch on the card base. I don't. Um, I stitch on the card panels and then I adhere the card panels to the card base. I don't like the look of the stitching on the inside of the card. So that's how I do that. But whenever you adhere these card panels to the card um, and you use your like your regular rolling adhesive, um, I don't think it the threads um, the thread doesn't actually, or it actually prevents the two pieces of cardstock from actually adhering from a good contact. So I don't like to use the tape rollers on the back when I've sewn on it. I usually like to use a score tape, and I actually use a score tape all the way around the edges on top of the stitching. And then I may draw a couple of lines of the actual tape adhesive here, and then put this onto my card base. Um, I've just never had any luck using the tape runners on the edges over top of the stitching. Um, it doesn't, just doesn't give a good contact. Okay, so actually I'm going to uh, put this together and um, I'm going to do this on part two of this video. This is actually part one. I'm going to finish up by actually putting this card together and teaching you hands how to tie a bubbly bow. And that's going to be part two, so stay tuned for that. So um, until then, I hope you hens have a great day and I'll see you back in the hen house real soon.